Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today we've got a really simple DIY. I picked up this plate. We've got a plain plate here and I picked that up from a charity charity shop, uh, thrift store, um, you may you may know them as. So I think it was a pound. That's literally all it was. I've been looking for one for a little while. They're great places to pick you know, little bargains up. So keep your eye out. I also need some Mod Podge and some material. Now I bought this material from Aldi. It was 3 99 and it's a pack of fat quarters. Any kind of material will do. Because this is for Christmas, I obviously wanted some Christmas material and sometimes that's hard to find in charity shops or thrift stores. So that's why I wanted to pick it up from there. But again, you could use any kind of material, any pattern. So this is the set. In Aldi instantly, they've got loads of fat quarters at the moment all kinds of different designs, not just Christmas. So I just thought this was really pretty. It kind of fits in with um, my home sort of decor as well. So they're the ones that we've got to choose from. Uh, so what we're gonna to do to start with is, pop that to one side, we're going to get our plate and we're gonna turn it over. And we are going to cover it in Mod Podge. It's so honestly a really, really simple craft. So I'm going to use this material and I'm going to roughly measure a piece and cut a section out so this is just rough so I'm sort of just going to feel it with my fingers and snip around do you know what I'm just going to run the iron over this because it's got um, a crease in where it's been folded there we go, right, it doesn't have to be perfect. So what we're gonna do is get our Mod Podge, give it a little shake there, and paint it over on the back of the plate. Now, don't worry because Mod Podge dries clear, I'm spilling it everywhere, so don't worry too much. And then what we're gonna do is stick our material onto the back of the plate. Okay, so just pop that to one side and get your material. Now we want to go pattern on to the Mod Podge. So it's pattern face down. So I'm just gonna lay that over like that. And just to smooth it down. Just kind of go with the grooves of the plate and just sort of smooth it down. And now what we're going to do is get our Mod Podge again and go over the back of the material. We're going to cover the whole of the plate, go up to the sides and make sure we get all around this section here. When it's all covered, what we're going to do is just leave it to completely dry. Right, this is um, dried now, so if you just turn it over, you can see the effect that you're going to have. Now, obviously, I've used quite a light piece of fabric. If you use, um, you know, something bright, then obviously, you know, it's going to be more noticeable. These would be fantastic for kids' Christmas Eve plates. So if you can get some, you know, really cool, funky fabric, that would make a really good plate for Christmas Eve, they're great for, for parties. But you see, you don't have to just do this at Christmas, you can do this sort of thing for any time. Just use different fabric and you can, you know, obviously don't put them in a dishwasher, just sort of surface clean the top. So I wouldn't eat my dinner off it or anything like that. But as you can see, all I'm doing is just cutting around the edge and then that's it. It's literally as simple as that. I mean, they you could they can be decorative too. You don't have to obviously use them. So there we go. That's it all done. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. So all I'm going to do is just put myself some mince pies on the plate. These are then ready for Christmas Eve. They'd be great for 
a little Christmas Eve tea if you want to do a nice party. But I hope I've inspired you to have a go. Really quick, easy craft. As I say, keep your eye out for the plates. I know you can buy them from Amazon, the plain plates, but they are a little bit more expensive. Much cheaper to buy them from, say, a charity shop, thrift store, that sort of thing. So that's it for me. I hope I've inspired you to have a go. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, because it all helps my channel. Now, I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.